Hello everyone, Emily here. I'm at my kitchen table and I wanted to show you the round circle and my progress I've made. If you're new to the channel, thank you for stopping. I just like to post uh, crochet tutorials and give you an update on what I'm working on and I hope you like and subscribe. So, welcome to my home. And I did a tutorial on this round part here. You can see this is red. It almost looks pink, I think, in this color of light. But um, the tutorial, there's one or two parts just for this middle section. You can see here, I just kept going, making my own patterns. I really like these diamonds. And then I decided, you know what? I just want to make some points here. And I used this um, yarn. And when I first started, I didn't think it was crap. Uh, contrasting enough and I was really worried about that and the farther I got the more I could actually see the pattern so I was really happy with it. I put um I ran out of this yellow so I just put this on so you could see the points and then I put a little bit of red and I just did these little knots here to add some uh, stitches and I think it came out really good. So I could keep going and make it into a nice big blanket and um I decided I'm going to make it into a rug. So this is Red Heart and uh, Mainstay Basic Yarn. And of course, I don't want to just lay it down like this. The sides will continue to, to come up. And, and I am going to put what I have on hand. I'm not going to go shopping or go out. I have this. And it's almost, it's almost, uh, oh my gosh, I don't even know what, how to say what it is. It's not fleece. I, I have some fleece in there, but I've got plans on making blankets with it, tie blankets, so I don't want to use that. So I'm going to use this. And nobody's going to see it because it's going to be on the back side. And I like this yellow because I'm going to do a tie. So I'm going to tie it around here, around the edges. And this yellow will look really good next to this yellow. So I'm going to put this on the other side and then I'm going to start cutting. I have the right side facing down. If I wanted the white on the bottom I could always put it upside down but I'm not going to do that. I don't know how long I've had this. Forever. So now I have this width down here, about the same width over here. So I'm going to cut around the edges so that it's pretty much the same distance. And I've never done this before, so let's just go ahead and do this together. So I've cut around the edges so it's kind of circly. And now I'm going to cut very small slits up. And this last row I did a double crochet. I'm sorry, I did a double crochet here, and then here I did a half double crochet. So I'm kind of probably bring it up through here. I'm not sure yet. But I'm going to go ahead and start cutting. And then I guess I'm going to figure it out. I could have uh, made one and learned how to do it and then showed you, but you know what? What's the fun in that? Let's just go ahead and start. Let's see. So I have these two cut and I'm going to go ahead and see how this does first before I go any further. Okay, so my plan is to bring it through here and just tie a knot and let it just hang. Um, so, you know what, I think I'm just going to go through one of these half double crochets at the end. Kind of wanted to see if that was too thick. So maybe I should make sure it goes through at the top of that middle one. I 
and I'll do this uniformed so the one on my right side will be the one that I start my knot with if I can remember to do that and you know this isn't fleece I can't even think about what to call it <sighs> So I think this will look really good in front of my fireplace because I know my grandkids like to sit right in front of it, of course, when it's not in use, which I haven't even used it yet this year. It's because I haven't been feeling good and just haven't used it. It's been cold here um, in Iowa. So I'm going to start with this one, the one on my right. So they like to take their uh, Legos and sit, you know, on in front of the fireplace and play with their Legos or cars on the brick in front of the fireplace. So, I think they'll get a kick out of this when they come over this weekend. They come over every weekend. And see, there's a little rug just for them to sit on. Of course, you know, that's not to say that the, my little dog Jackie or the cats won't take it over in the meantime. But I'm just going to cut these pieces nice and thin. Maybe I need to do them a little bit thinner. Oops. I wish I could... Uh, I, you know what? It's on the tip of my tongue what this is. It's not flannel. Well, you know, maybe it is flannel. It kind of feels like it. And then when I wash it, these will probably get more looser and just hang over the edge. Kind of like that. But I really like the way this crocheting came out, and I like to make my own pattern, so as I go, I just kind of just do my own thing. That's what I did with this one. And I have made my daughter a round blanket, but I think it was all double crochets and single crochets. This one, doing the mosaic when you're going to the previous round and going in front. Um... I think it makes it a lot tighter. And I really did want a little bit of fringe going around it because I really did want it to look like a, uh, like a rug and not a blanket. Even though some blankets have fr fringe, I guess. I just what I wanted. So far I'm pretty happy with it. If I would have went shopping and got a color it probably would have been something um, just one plain color nothing really loud but I probably would have just got red because my outside is red. But nothing wrong with using what you got on hand. My last video if you watched it was my daughter made some really cute um, dishcloths, which she did give to um, my grandson's teacher today at school, which was really nice. And at the end, I said, it just came in my head, make sure you have yarn. And I guess I said that because I haven't been feeling good, so I haven't been out very much at all. And I needed some yarn. And I told my daughter if she got me some, I'd give her some of my, she'd go through my stash and get some of that 100% cotton yarn. And she's like, okay. So she went to Walmart, got me a couple of skeins of um, the mainstay. I asked for blue. She got me teal. That's okay. <laughs> it's very pretty. She's like, no, that's blue. I'm like, mm, that's not like blue, honey. That's teal. She says, no, it isn't. So I looked at the, the thing and it says it's aqua. She goes, oh, so. But you know what? It doesn't matter to me. It'll be just as pretty on whatever I use it on. So, um, that's why I said make sure you have enough yarn because I couldn't go out and I really just want it light blue for no apparent reason because it's not like I had a specific, had anything specific that I was going to use it on. So, it just came to my head because I'm going through my stash. I had three totes full of yarn because I really don't have any place to like put it out except for next to my chair which I have a big huge pile um, and so I go through my totes and here I thought all three of my totes were totally full and I guess I have been uh, using more out of my totes than I thought 
my totes are getting low. I think I almost could take, well, I have four totes of yarn, and um, I bet I can get it all into one and a half totes if I go through it. Because one tote had to, is not even half full, has my sparkly yarn. So, gosh, I've just been going through yarn. And my blankets, you know, there's, I just love to use so much color. I've been really enjoying doing my blankets that are using variegated yarn. That black, white, and silver one, I worked on that yesterday. And I'm ready to start a new project because I like to have a lot of pro different projects going at the same time. But I'll be happy to get this one done and then put it in front of my fireplace for my grandkids. And the last time I made a rug, I crocheted it, a nice one for my granddaughter, so she could take it home with her and put it on her floor in her bedroom. It was really pretty. <sighs> and she likes blue. And it was big and colorful and it had flowers all over it. And she really liked it, so... This year, I think for Christmas, that grandchild, I'm making um, pillows for her instead of a blanket. Maybe I'll still make her a blanket, but um, I talked to her mother, and she said, yeah, pillows would probably be good for her this year because her uncle got her a new um, a new uh, comforter for, Chris for Christmas, so she probably has that on her bed. But, you know, you could just never have enough... Uh, rugs for your bedroom when you're 11 years old because you know they get spilt and stuff and if they're crocheted or made out of material you can just throw it inside the washer and she has carpet in her bedroom so it doesn't slide around it just stays in one spot but she likes it because it just makes everything look pretty i think i might have cut that up too far i don't want to cut it up too far I do want to make the cats another blanket. I made them one. It needs washed or I'd show it to you. I just noticed it in their kitty house over here. So I'm just going to do this all the way around and then I'll be done and I'm going to put it on the floor in front of my fireplace and I'm going to take a picture and show it to you. I hope you enjoy just listening to me chitter chatter. My voice is getting better. And... This is going to be really cute. I'm real excited. So you're going to have to subscribe and like so that you can see the other things I'll be working on soon. And I'm just really happy with the way this turned out. Well, thank you very much for watching. You guys have a great day, and I'll be back soon. Bye. So I'm really happy with it. It's sitting here in front of my fireplace and there's the kids' Legos. So when they come, they can sit right there in front of the fireplace, sit on their little rug and play with their Legos. Really like it. Thank you guys. Bye.